There, YouTubers, are right. Unboxing video for the VTrue V360 AIO CPU cooler. Available in black and white from Amazon. And uh, we got the white model here. So, as you can imagine, 360 millimeters comes in a really big box, as shown here. So, let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, the noise level of this is supposed to be 27.2 decibels, airflow 58.8 cubic feet per minute and it does have addressable RGB. Now first thing you'll notice is the instruction manual as well as the parts list. Really well uh, detailed parts list here as you can see and then talking about the overall instructions they're done in 3D and, and really in my opinion well done. I've, I've had some lousy ones from different companies but very impressed with this one. Of course there's always YouTube uh, to help with installations I'll have mine up eventually. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, the radiator itself out. Um, of course, it's you know pretty big and bulky. You might want to use two hands instead of one. Here's a uh, image from Amazon. High density aluminum fins, and uh, there's the size of it: 15.6 by 4.7 by 1.1. So really big radiator. Should uh, hopefully you know keep your CPU nice and cool. Now the contact surface is a copper base plate and it's going to accelerate the performance of uh, thermal conductivity and uh, it's kind of what you expect on these things. Alright, moving on, what else is in the box? So our first uh, CPU fan, this has uh, the ARGB as well as uh, I think it was a 4 pin um, to connect to the motherboard for a 3 pin. Now, uh, bag of parts, you'll see what's in here. Mounting bracket, thermal paste, and as well as uh, extension uh, wiring. Then we have a uh, second fan. So I believe all the fans were identical, if I remember correctly. There you see that guy. All right, so some tips to ensure you get the best out of your build. You're going to want to make sure that you uh, pick a case that can support 360 millimeter fan. You want to check for damage from delivery before installing. Of course, right now it's uh, the holiday season and, and stuff has just been getting beat up that's been delivered. Um, so something like this, you know, that could be somewhat sensitive. You don't want any leaks or anything. You'll want to make sure that uh, there wasn't any damage. Now, of course, uh, regardless of the CPU cooler, you want to make sure your CPU is properly seated in its socket. So, uh, you can definitely damage your uh, CPU, you could damage your motherboard, or you could damage both of them. So, be careful of that. Make sure you put your CPU in properly. Now, not all motherboards are going to support ARGB or addressable RGB, so ensure yours has the right connectors. Otherwise, you won't be able to control the uh, the color of the lights. Consider buying premium thermal paste. Now this did include thermal paste. I don't know how good it is. Um, I'm not a uh, materials engineer. No, I do have a couple engineering degrees. Um, but uh, you know overall um, I would say in general I, I usually you know go with uh, premium thermal paste over what's provided. It just you know can help somewhat with your uh, heat transfer. And I'm sure you all have parts before starting. Obviously they give you a parts list. Why not take the time to uh, ensure that you have everything before you start your installation and realize that you know for some reason you're missing a uh, screw or something. They do provide uh, CPU compatibility and as you can see a uh, new 10th gen LGA 1200 compatible so this will be compatible with 11th gen uh, it's also compatible with the 8th and 9th gen and a whole host of other Intel. Um, so AMD, AM4, obviously the new AMD chips that are out along as, as well as a Ryzen 9 3900X or uh, Ryzen 5 3400G. Uh, this will, you know, work for those. Level difficulty, I would say, you know, this is, this is definitely uh, at least intermediate as far as uh, installation goes uh, for some of you. That might be a little more than you can handle for others. You know, this this will be a piece of cake. So, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.